Hello, Willamette Seniors Class of 2021. This is our first of our series, Life After Woo, our first video, Framing the Job Search. And I wanna share with you uh, five things to help you frame your job search as you prepare for Life After Woo. First is going to be self-knowledge, self-awareness. The second is career research and building a list moving into job search strategies, both proactive and reactive strategies, tailoring your toolkit and networking. So first, knowing yourself, that self-awareness, knowing your skills, your strengths, your interests, your values, and how those things um, essentially help inform a job search are incredibly important. Using what you know about yourself to then research careers, uh, organizations, job titles, things that you could potentially be interested in, the kinds of organizations that you may want to look for are also important in framing your job search. Then you use that career research to build a list of the names of organizations across different cities or different uh, types of organizations, maybe government, nonprofit, B corporations um, in different cities or, or states or countries that you may potentially be interested in. And then begin your, uh, your networking process uh, in that proactive search strategies. Proactive search strategies essentially are ways for you to help frame your job search and really empower you to not just react to what the market is giving, but to really start to operationalize what it is that you are looking for. So if you know these things about yourself uh, based on your own self-assessment and self-awareness, then what sorts of things would you potentially be looking for and how do you make that well-informed decision for yourself? Uh, part of these strategies are creating a list looking for places that meet what you're looking for and the kind of work you hope to do, networking, talking with uh, people either doing that job or folks who can help you connect to people doing that kind of work. So Willamette alumni, uh, employees at that organization, uh, and then potentially doing prospecting emails or phone calls, maybe asking for an informational interview or seeing if that organization plans to hire any interns for summer. Uh, can be all part of a proactive job search. Some reactive strategies are, you know, ensuring that you're utilizing job boards effectively. Uh, there are job boards out there that go and grab all sorts of jobs from all sorts of places, and you may find that they get a little overwhelming to look at because you're sorting through all sorts of things uh, that you may not be interested or qualified for. So using those job boards effectively is also an important thing in framing your job search using uh, keywords effectively, making sure that you're using job boards that are specific to your industry or tailored for your specific area of interest. Uh, and then making sure you're tailoring your job search materials to each job you apply to. Proactive and reactive strategies should be used, uh, both should be used in framing your job search. So you wanna talk with organizations and individuals, you want to use what you learn to find and apply for jobs, and then continue to, uh, to, do, that, to do that work so that you are applying to multiple things that you're interested in and giving yourself a chance to find something that feels like a well-informed decision for you and your life after woe. Tailoring your toolkit is also a really important part of framing an effective job search. So this means that your resume sections, the skills that you highlight, your accomplishment statements should all reflect how you would add to that organization. Your cover letter should talk about why you're interested in working for that organization and really highlight the skills and the strengths that you have that would benefit uh, that particular role in that particular company. And your LinkedIn should also be uh, ready to share so that you can effectively do some of those proactive strategies uh, and network with folks and follow organizations and do career research in the areas and industries that you're particularly interested in. 
LinkedIn, if you don't have one already, we strongly encourage that you use your resume to build an effective LinkedIn. There are over 70 million users of LinkedIn, so it's a very effective way to find professionals and talk with people in areas that you are interested in. Uh, we can also help you find alumni on LinkedIn and network with them. This year we did onboard a new tool called WooConnect. WooConnect, uh, think of it like LinkedIn for Willamette. So it's all Willamette alumni across a variety of uh, career industries, career communities that have already said that they want to talk to you. So it is a very accessible, uh, very uh, warm way for you to do some career research with Willamette alums who are already eager to talk with you. We are here to help the career advising team uh, along really every step of this. So if you are still learning about yourself, you still want to know the things that you're looking for in a career, we can help with that, uh, that first step in self-assessment. We can help you do career research or build a LinkedIn profile, tailor your resume and cover letter. Uh, we can read emails if you want to do prospecting uh, and really help you prepare for how you frame this, this job search and, um, and you know, and effectively operationalize those proactive and reactive strategies. Uh, you can book us on Handshake. We're still doing remote appointments, 30 minutes and 60 minutes. We also have several of these upcoming sessions. So this week is framing the job search. We also will have perfecting the resume and cover letter, interviewing skills and uh, decisions decisions. Each week we'll have a video. Uh, so we decided to do video instead of live sessions because we know that a lot of people have Zoom fatigue and we're trying to make these videos short and accessible uh, with increased office hours each week for the advisor who is presenting and also alumni guest speakers. The alumni guest speakers will be live. So those will be uh, live sessions that you can join. We will also record them if you're not able to make that and upload the recordings to the resource section of Handshake. Uh, so you have access to us either through appointments or through uh, these sessions as you prepare for life after Woo. Uh, we hope that you will take advantage of some of these opportunities. Uh, we are certainly happy to, uh, to help you prepare for what comes next and we look forward to working with you. Thank you.